Sagittarius. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. How are you? How's the family? I hope everybody's doing all right. This is going to be a general message. Take it if it resonates. Grab your popcorn if it doesn't. You do not have to be a Sagittarius for this to resonate, and you might have to vice versa the roles. Let's go ahead and get into it and see what we've got coming through for Sagittarius. Ooh, first card out is the tower. Unexpected stormy. Ooh, it could be storming. Um, unexpected, though. Surprise, shocking, all of a sudden type energy. All right, what is this tower in regards to? For Sagittarius, it could also be a falling apart of something, uh, something that you were clinging on to that you're finally letting go of, or someone. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah, it feels like a crumbling. Yep, something toxic. Or someone, like I said. Something, someone, toxic, time to let it go. All of a sudden, kicking the habit. Some of you guys are quitting something cold turkey here. I don't know where to put these cards. It's almost like I don't know what to do with this. Uh, you might be feeling that way. World card. Yeah, and the five of cups. So you're you're upset about this. It feels like a loss. It feels like a loss. But you are definitely wrapping something up. You can also see that somebody was, um, what, what is it called where the snake wraps itself around and starts eating its own tail? All right. And I think that you're really disappointed in somebody for acting in such a way where they would open mouth and insert foot. You know what I mean? Hypocritical type of energies with that. And you're just like, yeah, no, you're saying one thing, you're doing another. I just, uh, star card and the seven of swords. Yeah, some of you guys, I, I don't mean to say that you're going to lick your wounds here, um, but you are kind of off grid or behind the scenes working on healing from this. I think it really sucks that you're over here wishing, hoping, and praying for somebody that they receive all the things they want and then some while they're like planning and plotting against you. Or some of you guys, um, there could have been energies that were feeding off of you while you were doing these negative things. And now that you're healing yourself, you might even feel a little bit attacked. We have judgment here. You, uh, you might even feel a little bit attacked because you're quitting something you're putting something toxic down and there's, or someone, and they're getting mad because they don't get any more of your energy, your attention, you know, and they're upset about that because they feed off of it. This is somebody that's dramatic and they like fighting with you or they like starting shit with you. They like poking you with a stick and watching you get pissed about it. Like this is somebody that likes to antagonize you or something that is antagonizing, right? Likely, likely gets your blood boiling. So like when you don't get your cigarette, you get irate, you get weird, you get mad, you get angry, you get frustrated. You're like, I need a fucking smoke, right? Um, so it's hard to quit. It's hard to put this down, but I think that's why you're choosing to do it cold turkey, right? Or this could be somebody who is very manipulative, very controlling, and they're like, I'm going to tell everybody you blah, blah, blah. And you're like, I don't even care. Tell them whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, two of wands. You tell them anything you want. Go crazy, go wild with your imagination. I don't even... I, I've come too far for this to stop me. I have to stop this. I have to not be a part of it. Yeah, you're like, I have come too far to be dealing with this kind of petty shit. Exactly, page of wands. I think it's time to move on. It's time to move on. Yeah, because whatever this is, I feel like it's beneath you, right? Not trying to be rude to anybody, but it is. What they're doing, it's beneath you. It's it's like, you know, the fuck? Exactly, eight of cups. It's time to walk away. And you are. 
you are walking away, you're like, I think I'm good <laughs> on all of that. All of that. You might be surprising this person by quitting, or maybe people are surprised that you're quitting whatever this is. Yeah, Six of Swords. I feel like some of you guys are just kind of behind the scenes working on yourself. Page of Swords. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, there's the Hermit. Like I said, you're behind the scenes working on yourself here. Yeah, you're finding something about you're finding something out about an investment that you've made with somebody somewhere along the lines. Ace of Swords. Yeah, you're cutting a connection because it's just it's not worth its weight in in value or it's not worth its value in weight, whatever the fuck. Something's not worth it. And you're like, I made a promise to myself. I made a promise to myself that I would not let somebody do this or be like this, that I would cut them out if blah, blah. I feel like you made a promise to yourself and it, it looks like you're going to have to cash in on that. You're going to have to um, uphold th this promise to yourself. You promised yourself you would quit, or you promised yourself you wouldn't take them back, or you promised yourself you would never let somebody do this to you again, or, you know, it's something like that. You made a promise to yourself here. You promised yourself you would walk away if something happened, and it looks like that something is happening, and you're like, wow. Wow. It's disappointing, I know, but... Yeah, sacrifice in the hero font. Or sorry, hanged man in the hero font. Yeah. You're like, you know, I made a promise to myself and now I have I have to do something here. You made a promise to yourself. And yeah, you can't move forward. You can't move forward with something because it's just not up to your standards. You've really come a long way. You've really healed yourself, worked on yourself. You know? Queen of Pentacles. You are the perfect partner, and you are deserving of the perfect partner. But if this one isn't measuring up to that, then this one is just a soulmate. They're not, you know? And you have multiple soulmates. Even if this was your twin flame, because we have the two of wands, the two flames... Um, maybe you're going to be happier with a soulmate than you are your twin flame in this lifetime. That happens sometimes. For those of you guys that are on the twin flame and soulmate journeys, that does happen. Eight of Wands and the Temperance. Yeah, see, like, you're, you're taking the time to move forward, to ascend, and also to recognize how much you already have, which is exactly why you don't deserve all this nonsensities. So we've got Sagittarius, Scorpio, Capricorn, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Virgo, Aquarius, Taurus, and Pisces. I hope this message helps who it needs to. I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, stay beautiful.